You know what I love? It, it is the sisterhood, first of all. Um, feelings, emotions, it, it's all estrogen heavy. <laughs> um, so we're, we're in all the feels, but this week is especially significant and it's it's been something that I've treasured most about the cosmos system is the sisterhood. People can say that the sisterhood is a sisterhood across the board in all pageant systems and I would disagree. I don't have an extensive experience in all the pageant systems, um, but I can tell you that ours is special, it's unique, and the bond that these girls have because of the different events, because of the different the different things that we do and the expectations that Cosmos do put on their title holders, it's just, it's different. And so you get to know your sister queens in a more intimate, different way. It's unique. And so just this week being surrounded by all that, it's just magnified. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. My. So as a first time Mrs. title holder, um, I feel incredible to have Alia and Samantha to look up mm -hmm. to. I mean, both as national and international queens um, coming into this, I couldn't have asked for better examples just to lead by. And I mean, even as a Mrs. Queen think, I wanna be like them. <laughs> and it's not just about the, the national or international title. They've left such a big mark on this organization that whoever gets those crowns is gonna have a huge, huge shoes to fill. You know, I was fortunate enough to meet Alia a few years back and we have always kept in touch and I've truly just admired her and her tenacity and her drive and the difference she makes in so many women's lives, mine included. Um, so to be able to come into the sisterhood, she's who brought me here. She's the reason that I am here because I saw so much tremendous growth in her and just the person that we've seen for so many years, this amazing, beautiful queen, she finally came into just her own essence and owning it. And that is such, such admiration for her. And she's got really, really big shoes to fill. And it's just an honor to know her and to know Samantha and to watch this organization grow to what it should be. Kate, Katie is very special. She, um, we competed together in a different system and we both got first runner up uh, together. And it was just, I've watched her and go through different systems. And when I found Cosmos, I just couldn't get her over here fast enough. I said, if you'll just give give it one shot, I promise you, I swear, you will never wanna go anywhere else. Cosmos is gonna be your new home. Ali and I have a special relationship. Um, both of us coming from law enforcement backgrounds, I think gives us a, a different relationship than most. You're someone that I really admire since you're a lot more senior than I am in the law enforcement industry. Um, and seeing a female go out there and empower herself and succeed in a man's world is something that I've always looked up to and admired. And then seeing you take that talent that you have and turn around and apply it to pageantry and to see you succeed in pageantry really inspires me to want to continue and do it as well. Because when I see someone who's a like-minded individual who's a little out of the box when it comes to the, the stereotypical female um, is something that I really look up to. And I know you had competed in the system before um, you lost at nationals and you came back the next year and you won. And I think that's really what inspired me to come back and continue with this organization is just seeing your desire to want to stay with the program really is what brought me back. Um, no, it, it was amazing to compete with Athena last year and she was such a fierce competitor. And, you know, something that we do share is the trauma of doing the jobs that we do. And it was very, very special to me to be able to have have her here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we share similar work experiences and to see her compete last year, she had gone through seeing a really, you know, tough scene before she came to compete at nationals. And she just powered through, she soldiered through, it was hard. And I saw that in her, I knew it immediately when I looked in her face and she got up there and she competed and she did a heck of a job. And it's just something special when you have a woman that just embraces the, a Marine, number one, a soldier, but someone who is actually out there making a difference, but was able to set aside something traumatic and compete to go after something she really wanted. And she came back. See, I'm and not that's powerful. To cry. <laughs> no. 
I, I really do look up to you, and I always have, and I always will, and I'm very grateful for the friendship that we have. You're a powerhouse. Thank you. <laughs> One of the things about Cosmos, honestly, for me, is I've watched the system for several years, and Alia was a woman that I looked up to from the beginning because I think it speaks volumes of an organization to see someone compete and then continue to go home and grow and and become even better and even more powerful. And when she was crowned last year, I mean, I was rooting her on from Facebook Live. I mean, just to see the amount of personal growth between every single woman standing here this week. Um, just the growth physically, mentally, it has been an incredible journey. And I know that Alia and Samantha have some huge shoes to fill you know but we we can only go up from here but i'm just so incredibly proud of this sisterhood and to be just one person among it i love you guys mm. so yeah so i first met alia at the 2020 cosmos she was already a queen and of course i looked up to her and ashley and then followed along last year as she competed at nationals and obviously someone I look up to have great respect for as a law enforcement officer like Athena said in a male dominated industry she is just a fierce woman and I love that Cosmos embraces that and they want to empower other women and I think that her job and her presence just commands attention and it's really amazing that we all have her as a role model. So I'm very thankful for her. And it is a sisterhood. I met Athena in 2020 when we competed and then Katie is like my best friend. So I'm so happy to be here with her. It was super fun at state because we weren't competing against each other, but <laughs> it's just still really fun being here with her and spending the week with her because we live near each other and hang out all the time, but it's different when you can spend a whole week with your girls and just girl time. It really is a sisterhood. We're very blessed. So I'm rooting for everyone, honestly. Like, you will see me in tears no matter who gets the crown. I'm going to be back there and I'm not going to be crying because I lost. I'm going to be crying because I'm so happy for you. If you look at the video from State, I cried when she got crowned. So I'll probably have some tissues stuffed somewhere because I'm a crier. Alia, you are the definition of a true queen. Um, your presence is so calming. When I came off stage from state costume, I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> uh, my nerves were all wound up, and you just came over and like placed your hand on me, and you said that I did a great job. And it was probably so simple and just in your nature, but for me, that completely took my nerves all the way down. So you're the true definition of fixing a crown without anyone telling anyone that it's crooked. Um, and each one of these ladies um, has such a special place in my heart. I look up to you all, I admire you all, and no matter who wins, it's, it's gonna be a great year. So the first time that I met Alia, the first thought that entered into my mind is I'm going to look up to her, literally, because she was a statuesque woman just stunning and gorgeous in all ways. And then as I got to know her a little bit more, I realized just how multifaceted you are. You are so multifaceted in so many different ways. You're in law enforcement. My husband's a first responder, and so I have great respect mm -hmm. for, for anyone that's a first responder or police officer or in the military. But then I thought, but she puts heels on and she wears a dress and she looks fabulous. And that is just a powerful combination. It's not one, you can often have a hard personality. You cannot mm -hmm. always have a hard personality with a soft side. Mm -hmm. And you are so graceful yet strong and independent. And that gives all of us women something to aspire for and to be. And that is exactly what the Cosmos organization does, right? It empowers us to be us. Mm -hmm. Not empowering Lois to be Alia or anybody else. Mm -hmm. It's empowering us to be ourselves and to be the best ourselves that we can possibly be. And what's wonderful is that they have other women like yourself and Samantha that are people that we can look up to and learn from. Mm -hmm. No matter what age we are, you know, I, I know that I'm probably the oldest one in this room at the moment, but I look up to women that are younger than myself, like yourself, just because they bring it in such a very unique, multifaceted way, in a strong way. And I think it's a lesson for most women, is you can be all things in one 
and still be good at each and every part of it. And so thank you for that, because you're showing it. Well, thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Okay. So tonight, as all of you compete for this title, I just want to remind you that what matters most is the next day. Um, all the glitz and glamour of the night that you're crowned is, it is phenomenal, just take it all in. But don't let that overshadow the relationships because there's only two titles and there's eight of you. And so just treasure what you've developed here. Nurture the relationships and the bonds that you have made here because that is what matters. The, the crowns and the titles will only last a year. It's what you do with it, and it's how you treat each other with love and respect and just the sisterhood. That's what it's about because not every sister gets a crown, a national crown or an international crown, but you already all have crowns. Mm -hmm. But the most beautiful crown is the friendship. It's the sisterhood, and you have to nurture that, and you have to take care of that. So no matter if you get a crown or you don't, be good to each other. Embrace each other and love each other. Okay? And that's what is most important, is to just be the sister. Be the sister. Because you're all amazing, you're all worthy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're all worthy of it. Those judges have just such a terrible decision to make. <laughs> but I'm cheering each and every one of you on. Oh my gosh, every single one of you is just amazing. You're everything. You're just everything that the cosmos embraces. Every single one of you is, is a part of, is a jewel in the crown. Every single one of you. So just remember that no matter what. So I love you all. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> yeah.